<laughs> happening right now. Two updates to two Scottsdale ordinances taking effect in response to years of loud partying and trashed homes. I've heard about this too. I mean, property owners, they now face harsher penalties when it comes to short-term rentals. Police saying owners need to be held accountable for out-of-control renters. The Team 12's Jess Winters is joining us live this morning. She's explaining how the city and police are planning to work together to try to keep neighborhoods safe and quiet. Hey, good morning, guys. Scottsdale police say they respond to Old Town more than any other area when it comes to short-term rental parties and problems. The police department and city are hoping that two updates to two ordinances going into effect today curbs some of the chaos. Big bashes leading to big problems in the city of Scottsdale. We've been to some graduation parties on some acreage lots that have had hundreds of people. Unruly short-term renters using apps like Airbnb and Verbo, resulting in upset neighbors. I didn't sign up to live next to a fraternity house. How many complaints have you gotten over the years? When, when I was on the road, we responded constantly. Assistant City Manager Brent Stockwell pulled up the data. Scottsdale Police responding to more than 1,800 calls for service related to short-term rentals since 2019. November 2021 breaking records in a bad way. There had been 175 calls for service just related to short-term rentals. Just in the month of November. Please. Just in the month of November. Now in effect, two updates to two ordinances implemented in 2019. The Vacation Rental Ordinance and the Nuisance Parties and Unlawful Gatherings Ordinance. The biggest changes, increased fines for the property owners and an emergency contact requirement. Sergeant Kevin Kwan says the emergency contact needs to show up to the property within an hour if there's a problem. It can be a friend, a family member, anyone you trust. Uh, it allows us to have communication, it allows us to establish that's the person responsible for um, the residents and where we're at. The updated ordinances allow officers to issue citations for nuisance parties. We can pen out a citation and issue to the homeowner or the representative of the home for a nuisance party itself, which we didn't have before. For nuisance parties, you can face fines up to $2,500. If you have a late or a no-show emergency contact, you can face fines up to $500. So you're paying a lot out of pocket. And Sergeant Kwan told me, enjoy the nightlife, enjoy Old Town Scottsdale, but then go to these neighborhoods, these quiet neighborhoods, and go to bed. That's how he put it. It's something I kind of want to do right now. Live in Old Town Scottsdale, Jess Winters, <laughs> Today in AZ. Oh, Jess, you spoke for the whole team.